Thomas the Tank and Junior Friends, Trapmaster Railway Adventures, Episode 9, Donald the Runaway. One day, Donald, the Scottish twin, was pulling three fuel tankers. He had to bring them to the um, viaduct where Henry would pick them up. Soon Donald arrived at the viaduct. That should be good enough, said Donald. Indeed, said the driver. That you're right, Donald. That should be good enough. He said. And Donald puffed away. Donald was relatively new to the railway. As his, as his twin Douglas had to stay on his railway to help with financial troubles. He raced past the quarry. And he was going around in like a circle. Donald came back, but when he was when he was backing up, he saw Bertie. Hi, Bertie said. Donald, hello, Bert. Hello, D Donald said. Bertie, what are you up to? Said Donald. Well, I gotta take these passengers to the top station. Well, have fun with that, said Donald. Oh, I know I will, said Bertie. And Bertie puffed away, roared away. Huh. <sighs> Donald, Bertie's lucky, said Donald. <sighs> Donald started to feel now, he st now Donald now started to feel sad as he backed up. What's the matter, Donald? said the driver. Don't look at all these engines. Look at Edward. Look at Neville. Look at Gordon. What? What are you talking about? Neville and Gordon are just sitting there. Well what about well, what about Sir Handel over there and Reneas over there? And Salty Wayne. Those engines are not doing anything, said, the, said his driver. Huh, I know, said Donald, but I still wish I had a good job. You knew the railway, Donald. Don't worry, so Tom Hat will give you a job. Oh, uh, okay then, said Donald. He slept through the whole night. However, Donald slept. He slept through the night time hours. Then it was daytime again. His driver didn't c came, come back. Donald knew he had to go out himself to pull. That he had to go. But Donald knew he had to go very slow. But then Donald felt the ride very relaxing. Oh, so Donald, this is the life. Donald was now getting over when he was sad last night. Uh, uh, this is the life. This is the life, said Donald. Uh, uh. But Donald knew that he couldn't stop now. Oh no, said Donald. Help me. And last night there was a like a, there was like a windstorm that blew the few trucks that blew the few trucks down the hill. And now they were at the crossing. Donald was now a runaway. Help! Help! Said Donald. Donald knew he couldn't stop since he didn't have no driver. Oh no, it's gonna be too late, said Donald. And Donald knew that he was right. Donald crashed into the field. Tankers. Donald came off the rails. What in the world happened? Said Toby. Fuel was spilled everywhere. What in the world is this? Said Duck. I'm sorry, said Donald. So Tom had expected the damage. Well, Donald, I suspect it wasn't your fault. Yeah, it was, said Donald, because my driver wasn't. Here, no, said Sir Top of Hat. Do you, Sir Top, your driver should have been more on time. All right. Yes, sir, said Donald. And one thing. Since it's not your fault, I'll give you a new coat of paint. Really, sir, said Donald? Yes, said Sir Topham Hat. And Donald knew that he, had done, that he never did anything wrong, indeed. 